G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds you all well. Today we're going to have a look at basic colour adjustments to your video footage within CapCut. CapCut's a great option. I'm using the free version so you'll be able to see all the tools that are available to you on that free version. There's loads of options to really help with your adjustments for your videos. Alright, let's have a look. So you can see I've got a clip on the timeline at the moment. There's two ways that you can add adjustments or make adjustments to your footage. If you go up on the top left hand corner and click on the adjustments tab, you'll see that there's the option there to add a custom adjustment. And this basically adds a adjustment layer above your footage down on the timeline. And we can just click and drag that to cover all of our footage as you can see. The other option is you can add an adjustment layer to the actual clip itself. Now generally I add adjustments uh, as adjustment layers within Premiere Pro which is the normal software that I use for video editing. So what we're going to do is have a look at that adjustment layer option today. Alright, let's click on that adjustment layer so that it's active and you can see up on the top right hand corner we've got all the options to make those adjustments. We're just going to look at the basic tab today. All right, so you can see with this footage, it was fairly well exposed uh, when it was originally shot. This is completely unadjusted. It's a little bit flat, which is the normal way that I film with my footage, just so that I've got a bit of flexibility in post. But it's not log, for example, so there's not a, a you know a high level of flatness or desaturation or low contrast there. So the first option that we have under that basic tab is to auto adjust, and you can see that it just goes through, detects the uh, video file and what's in there and gives a recommended adjustment straight away. Now you do have some flexibility there. You can, using that slider, uh, go for zero right through to 100% intensity and you can basically just adjust it to whatever you like it. All right, So that's a good way to start. It might mean that you make other adjustments but it's a great way to see the potential the clip has straight away. All right. Color match is an interesting one uh, because it basically allows you to match the color to another frame, so another photo or video. So in this case, we don't have that available to us, but I just wanted to click on it so that you have a look at how it works. All right. So we're going to uncheck that one and we're going to move down to the next one. Color correction. Uh, again, this is a more automatic approach uh, and we have that slider there to uh, make those adjustments left and right or the amount that that's going to be applied to your adjustments. Uh, you can see it's putting in a lot of contrast there. So um, again, it's an option that's available and it might be a good starting point. You can select how much of it is applied to your actual clip. All right, let's have a look at the next one. So the LUT is what stands for lookup table, and it's basically a way of uploading a file and applying it as an adjustment, and it's like a predetermined look that you may have created or you may have downloaded from someone else. Now, you do need to pre-upload that one, and you can see I haven't got any in there at the moment, but if you were to apply a LUT, uh, this is where you would do it. So we're not going to actually do that one today because we're going to look at the more manual adjustments, which we're going to get to now. All right, so now we're under the adjust uh, option on the basic tab and you can see here that we've now got all of our manual adjustments. Temperature is basically making your footage cooler or warmer. Tint is applying or removing either green or as I call it cyan or purple or more magenta. So you, you can see if you've got a color cast in there, that's a really good slider to use to remove that uh, color cast. And saturation, as the name suggests, it basically removes or adds color intensity. So I'm sliding them all the way to the uh, extreme ends of those sliders just so that you can see the effect, even though that isn't the way that I would normally edit my footage, but just for demonstration purpose, purposes, you can see the effect that that has. So if you're wanting to make black and white footage, the slider um, saturation slider would be the one that you would use. All right, so we're just gonna slide that back to zero. Uh, all right, so now we're looking at lightness. So with exposure, if we go all the way to the left, it makes the image darker. All the way to the right, sorry, the footage darker. Uh, all the way to the right makes it brighter. Contrast to the left reduces contrast. Uh, to the right, it increases contrast. Highlights only affects the highlights. So if we go all the way to the left, you can see it's reducing the brightness of the brighter parts of the video. And if we go to the right, it's increasing the brightness of the brighter parts of the video. Shadow, only the dark areas. So same as highlight, but with the dark areas. Whites, it's adjusting the white point, which is different to highlight. So highlight works with the brighter end of the image, whereas whites works specifically with the whites of the image. So 
there might be some overlap in uh, the effects that you or the results that you see, uh, but it does work a little bit differently. And same with the blacks. So really pulling the blacks down or rising them up. All right, brilliance. Let's have a look at brilliance. So brilliance is an overall adjustment that increases the overall brightness or decreases it without uh, adding or reducing contrast. All right, let's have a look at sharpen. So sharpen gives you better clarity with the detail. You can see if you over sharpen, it really does start to fall apart very quickly. So uh, my recommendation with any adjustment is treat it like salt and pepper when you're cooking. So season to taste. You don't want to add too much, but you want to add um, the amount that you need for the, the improvements to happen. So sharpening just a little bit there. Uh, clarity. Clarity is kind of like a, con uh, a, a combination of sharpen and contrast. So clarity gives you better detail, um, as you can see, as you increase there. Uh, and it's a great tool. I use clarity on a regular basis, particularly if there's a little bit of mist or, or a fog or anything happening and you just want to make things a little bit clearer. Particles. Uh, you can see it's actually adding in almost like a grain type structure. If we hit play, you can see that it's um, treating it almost like, um, uh, like I said, a grain sort of uh, effect. And fade, fade is like a reduction in contrast, but it almost gives it a little bit of a vintage sort of lack of contrast uh, look to it as well. And vignette is the last one that we're going to look at. If we slide that one to the left, you can see it brightens uh, the outer edges of the image, which is the opposite to uh, how Premiere does it. So Premiere Pro, it darkens when you slide to the left, but with CapCut, it brightens if you slide to the left and darkens if you slide to the right. Again, you don't want to go too heavy-handed with this one. You can see just a little bit of a application. Um, helps us to sort of uh, bring focus to the central part of the image, which is uh, the purpose of vignettes. So another really uh, great tool that's available is you can save whatever color adjustments you make as a preset. So if you're working with a bunch of different um, uh, assets or different projects and you start to develop a style that your footage looks like, uh, then you can apply that style uh, to other footage or other projects. Works very much in the same way as a LUT where you're applying a look or a general sort of result or approach to your uh, color correcting and color grading. So that's a great option because when you develop that style of your own, save it as a preset and you can use it on other assets or projects. So as you can see, uh, all of the uh, basic color adjustment tools uh, that are available in CapCut are available in the majority of video editors that are available on the market today. And there's loads of uh, tools in there that you can really make sure uh, you're getting your footage to where you want it to be in how it appears, whether you're simply color correcting or you're color color grading, uh, which is applying more of a look to your footage. Remember though, as with photography, it's always a really good approach to capture it as correct in camera as possible, because the more work you have to do to it in post, it not only wastes time, but also your footage will start to fall apart. So there's only a certain amount of flexibility that you have to recover highlights or shadows or apply different looks to your footage. Start with well shot footage and your results will always be better as a final results. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much as always for stopping by and we look forward to seeing you next time. As always, any comments are welcome in the comments below and uh, questions of course are welcome as well. Take care and see you next time.